Hi guys, um, the name is Mark and uh, just going to do somewhat of a, maybe a little, little bit of a lengthy video here and it kind of goes like this. Um, a lot of people are writing me up and stuff and they're asking me these questions and can I have a copy of your paperwork and they all seem to think that like I have this magic bullet that's just going to like uh, help all you guys out and the thing is in life is nothing is written in stone well some things are obviously hieroglyphs and stuff um, but anyhow like there's several ways to skin a cat not that I'm suggesting anybody be skinning cats but there's numerous ways to do things and everybody's looking for the perfect way and there is no such thing as a perfect way now there is a simple solution I have a couple that I'm going to propose to you here okay and Basically, you're like the you're like back to the clouds and stuff, right? Clouds, they come in whatever formation they have, yet they're perfect. You know, uh, some might be oblong and short and round and pudgy and super wet and, you know, cumulus and this kind of and that kind. It's like snowflakes, you know, and just nothing is the same. And what I would like to convey to you people is, is like you people write me up and you say, well, if I give up being a citizen, well, then I'm stateless. Well, no, then you, 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 you have the state of God. You're not dealing with the state of man. You're dealing with the state of God. And like all these people go, well, I have rights. Sure you do. You have the right to get ripped off by the government. You have the right to have police plant drugs on little innocent black kids. Uh, you know, slavery used to be legal. Is this the kind of world you want to deal with? And obviously, like, slavery is still running, like, alive and well, and it's rampant out there. And so with all this nonsense, like, just basically everybody's looking for the perfect way. Nothing is perfect, and I don't have any magic paperwork or anything like this. And furthermore, how... Even if you did say have this magical paperwork, what, what if like you you have it all, you think you have it all figured out and meanwhile they take your paperwork and they decide we don't want to lose you as a slave today. So all this paperwork you did, they take it and they throw it in the garbage and they don't even bother looking at it. They don't even bother recognizing it. What then? What would you do, right? So then again, this makes you dependent on man. There comes a point when you have to say to yourself, Regardless of what's going on, I am not going to be dependent on what you guys think, whether you guys look at my paperwork, whether you guys don't look at my paperwork. It's all irrelevant. Like people say, well, I live in Canada. Well, what's Canada? Canada is just a name on a piece of paper with a fictitious borderline drawn throughout, drawn throughout the, the soil. It's a fiction. It's a fiction of I magi nation, right? So basically what I'm getting at people is, is they're... There's two ways to do this, okay? The one way, and the reason why I'm going to give it to you this way is when I was 17 and 18 years old, I had gotten in trouble with the law. When you get in trouble with the law, everybody knows that they dip your, uh, they dimp, they dip your fingers in ink. I'm still waking up here. They dip your fingers in ink and they take your fingerprints, okay? So what happens is, even if you don't want to identify yourself in the future, when they say, hey, uh, we need your name and your identification, they'll just take you, throw you in jail, they'll do a CPIC on you, they will scan your prints through the computer, and they will do a match, and then they will identify you that way, okay? So what I did was, I just had things notarized. Now... Justice Rook had wrote, uh, he, he was um, a judge or a justice of the peace out in Alberta, and he had wrote a 170-something page document saying, uh, uh, you know, basically all these people, if they think having things notarized that it means anything, and more or less that it doesn't, right? Which is all bullshit and is basically a scare tactic because everything the government does, they notarize. They notarize birth certificates. They notarize statement of live birth. They, if you go register your car in the back of the room, they have a notary public and the notary public will notarize that document that you've now given up your vehicle and registered it to the state. So now that car belongs to the state and you're just not seeing that the fact that they notarize this in the back office. Okay. So 
I didn't do anything fancy, people. I just took all my ID and I wrote it down, birth certificate numbers, social insurance number, and all this stuff. And I said, this is hereby now being revoked. All contracts with Canada and anybody in the Corporation of Canada are now null and void. All contracts are null and void and that's it. It's a done deal. And I sent back my ID and I had everything notarized. Now. It has to be notarized. Now, here's a big thing. Good luck trying to find a notary now because all these notaries have been warned not to be notarizing documents that uh, more or less state anything like they're leaving Canada and they no longer want to be citizens. Because every time you do this, the government, the government is no longer in control and the government borrows money off the fact that you've app lied, you've lied for a birth certificate. You are never supposed to apply for a person, a persona that is not you. Okay, just like the last name, uh, last names are slaves. You had locksmiths, swordsmiths. Usually, they're trade names. Uh, there's a, you know, there's a hockey player. His last name is Slavin. You know, literally, right? And so, if that doesn't tell you that people were slaves, say Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia, right? Uh, Slavia, right? Slaves, right? So. Basically, in a nutshell, people, they're, they're, I, ha I was lucky enough to find a notary public where I had my documents notarized. And then what happened was, you don't have to do this, but I was having it out with the government of Canada in the court of Queen's Bench. So I had it notarized on some pieces of paper. And I just said, hi, I so-and-so, Mark Simser, are no longer a citizen on your vessel. And basically all contracts are null and void. I am returning, keywords, returning, forfeiting the birth certificate, the, the, the birth certificate, my driver's license, my SIN card. We were told not to deal in SIN and we apply for SIN cards, okay? SS cards if you're in the States. Does this sound good to you, right? Now I know it means social security or SIN card in Canada, social insurance number, but like my buddy's kid had app lied for a uh, birth certificate and then he app lied for a SIN card and <clears throat> believe it or not, the very first thing it said when he got his social insurance number, it said in the very top, thank you for app lying for your first sin. Not your first social insurance number, your first sin, okay? So this tells you that you're entering into a world of sin. You're supposed to have a covenant with God, not a covenant and a contract with man. Your contract is with the, the universal creator, okay? So back to the documents, I simply signed them stating that, you know, I am no longer Mark Simser, right? Last names are for slaves. My God-given names are Mark and Randolph. That's it. I don't utilize a slave name anymore because I'm not a slave on a, on a ship, okay? The citizenship. And I said that I so-and-so, Mark Simser, am no longer called Mark Simser. Uh, you can call me by my God-given name, which is Mark Randolph, right? And effectively, I am returning uh, your social insurance number, your birth certificate, your driver's license. I had all that notarized. I wrote down all the numbers, and I signed it in front of a notary public, and I had the notary public not, uh, not certify a copy, but actually notarize the original. Then off the originals, you never get rid of your original, that's your title. Then off the original, I'd made some photocopies. Then I had the notary public notarize that those were certified copies, notarized copies, okay? Not just commissioned, notarized, which made it a law in Canada because it was notarized that the contract had become null and void and I'd sent off my birth certificate and um, my social insurance number and that to Canada Employment and Multiculturalism Canada. Look at the term, multicult, you are all is, am, okay? You're not supposed to be belong to a cult. And what is a cult? A cult is anything that you pay money in or towards in, okay? For example, if you pay taxes towards this cult and they use your money to go kill your neighbors overseas because now you're helping them buy bullets, that effectively makes you a killer, okay? This isn't going to be the prettiest video. Now, that's all I did. I simply, hi, I so-and-so, I will no longer be called Mark Simser. I mean, you can call me by my God-given name. All contracts are null and void. I listed the birth certificate number, the social insurance number, 493-069-876. I had it notarized. I had, 
and I had the originals notarized and then I had uh, the the copies notarized copies which I had thus given to the court now I'd also had um, my original notarized documents authenticated through the Attorney General's Office of Alberta but nowadays again they don't want to recognize anything and they'll say well you have to send us you have to send it to us and we'll uh, authenticate it in a couple of weeks or a month and we'll send this back to you the reason why they're doing this now is because they're going to take your notarized documents and they won't send them back to you they'll pretend like they never even received them and they'll throw them in the garbage because if they were to authenticate this well now they're losing slaves and when they lose slaves the government of Canada loses money okay and it's all fraud it's all fraud and the only way it's not fraud if you agree to participate in the fraud then it's not fraud but if you do not agree and you say on your piece of paper I, I I've come to the understanding that this whole uh, system is fraud and uh, that's that here's your stuff back and it goes back to the governor general which is a governor of a stratocracy which is basically a warlike nation these people will kill you in fact they hate you they hate citizens they always have and that's it that's all so i'm not going to get too deep on that basically you're an enemy to the state of the creator now because now you've agreed to follow man's laws which are letters on a piece of paper as opposed to god's laws okay people so now there's another so there's no there's no anything set in stone there's nothing fancy about my paperwork i just so and so you know here i'm revoking all contracts they're all null and void and here's your stuff back render unto caesar what is caesar's okay and that means all of caesar's stuff whether it be caesar's money caesar's paperwork the whole nine yards now then of course here's a big thing a lot of people say well, you know, um, will this paperwork ensure that I won't go missing? No, it won't. How could it? How could anything ensure that you, uh, you won't go missing? If somebody wants to do harm to you, they'll find you and they'll do harm to you. They might bring an army with tanks. They might just take a couple of police officers, shoot you in the head and dump you off in the river. And uh, that'll be that. And you'll be null and void after that. You follow me, people? So there's no guarantee in anything with this. Basically, what it all comes down to is how much you have faith and trust and you believe in the universal waitress, which is the creator, okay? So, that's it. That's all. There's no magic bullet. There's no magic paperwork. And because I had a criminal record when I was 17 and 18, and I knew that they had dipped my fingers in ink and they had taken prints, that even if I didn't identify myself, that they would see pick these prints and these prints would come up and they would identify me as Mark Simser. So this is why I'd used a notary public and I had everything notarized and I'd sent off notarized copies, never my originals, only notarized copies, to say that I am no longer a slave on your ship, your citizenship. All identification is basically being returned to Caesar. It's now null and void. All contracts are null and void. I wrote the social insurance number down, the birth certificate number, what other ID I had, and I sent it to the uh, the Governor General of Canada, Canada Employment Multiculturalism, because I no longer wanted to be part of a cult. Okay, and a cult is just basically any group that you pay money to, whether it be good or bad. Nonetheless, that's a cult. God never asked you to pay for anything. Birds and bees don't pay taxes, okay? They're not that stupid. They still have divine intelligence built in them because they never stepped out of the garden. Us as people, we've stepped out of the garden and now we're we're thin kings. We're always thinking, so that makes us very thin. We're not as king as the king, okay? So being that as it may, now the second way, if you've never had a criminal record or you've never been fingerprinted or anything like that, even though you may have had a driver's license, listen real carefully, real closely here, and it's this. I know numerous people who have never been fingerprinted and stuff, and this is why now they want all this facial recognition stuff, okay? is even though they've never been fingerprinted, they literally took all their stuff and they literally threw it in the garbage. They threw it in the river, they threw it in the garbage. That was that. And they decided that they would start calling themselves different names. They weren't using last names. They'd, uh, 
you know, uh, a few people I know, they've been pulled over on numerous occasions. They, uh, some of them were hitchhiking, some weren't. They would get pulled over and the police would try to identify them and uh, Buddy would say, I'm uh, Uka Nuka Nuba. How do you spell that? I don't know. It was, my, uh, it was my given name. I've never had to spell it, right? And spelling, if you look up spell in a dictionary, it says a curse, right? And then, you, and then they would call it curse of writing. And then you'd learn your sentence structure and they might offer you a death sentence or a life sentence in prison. You see where I'm going with this, people? So effectively, they would get pulled over. The police couldn't identify who they were and they weren't using any slave names, last names, and because they had never been fingerprinted, the police would take them down, they would throw them in a holding cell for 24 hours, the next day they would take them in front of a magi straight, again you're back to magicians, magic, the letter of law, which is not God's law and compassion, right? Hell no. And Basically, the judge would say, and uh, officer, uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, court clerk, what's the next docket number? Should read off a docket number. And then uh, the, cop, uh, the judge would say, okay, and who is this in front of me? He's looking for the person. The judge will always say, are you this person? He's asking you if you were a slave. And the minute you say that you're a person, if you look up person in the dictionary, it says a person who is the property of another so this is all out slavery people i can't make this stuff up i have videos on this and so you know everybody's trying to understand things and like if you're trying to if you're thinking all the time you're a thin king you're not as king because as king you don't think you just do you know right so this is the difference and th this is why these are called lessons they're not giving you more they're giving you less on hence a lesson right so until you've actually had the experience of this uh, how would you know and they'll give you a less on a lesson and they will mislead you right by mixing a lot of truths with half truths and stuff so effectively what it comes down to is these people back to these people they would get pulled over and then the judge would say, and uh, who is this person? And the police would say, oh, I don't know. And the judge would say, well, why are, you bringing the, why are you bringing these people up in front of me into my courtroom? And uh, basically the police would say, well, they, they failed to identify themselves. And the judge would say, listen, if you don't know who this person is, clearly we don't have any contractual paperwork stating that they agree to be persons and basically the judge would say get them out of my court and release them and i don't mean you know what i mean literally let them go i don't mean releases they've been released into another contract let them go and so <clears throat> this has happened on numerous occasions and all these people I know, they literally just took their identification stuff because they had never been fingerprinted and stuff, and they threw it in the river. Some of them, they bury it in their backyards, and if they ever do need health care, say in 10, 20 years, they'll just come up and say, yeah, I'm so-and-so, and pretend like they're the old person again, and they'll, they'll now use their health card. That's simple. So that's the even smarter way, right? So... I know unfortunately now it's hard to find notaries and stuff and I didn't help with that by me showing everything that I did online and always having documents notarized but I had to because had I not had it notarized they have my prints and if I failed to ID myself they would identify me by my prints and they would say oh you're Mark Simser you're this person right so I had to say listen I am no longer a person and I had it notarized and I sent them notarized copies never the original never keep your originals at your house right keep them somewhere safe this way here if the authorities ever show up they can't steal your paperwork because this is what the authorities do they have the right to steal from you they have the right to throw you in jail they have the right to uh, persecute you and put you to death and give you a death sentence or a life sentence in prison are these the rights you're willing to uh, to agree upon and sign up for and if you take the g out of sign you're back to sin you're like signature you take the g out and you have sin at your you're at sin and then everybody signs on a flat line which is basically a deadline and if you go to the hospital and you start flatlining you're dead so this is why you become a corpse right and you know so this is why corporations have uh, have the rights of persons now and people never understood why well I'm telling you why right 
and something else just like in the states now they're saying well if you have an abortion we reserve the right to throw you in jail and what if the woman was raped i'm just going to play the devil's advocate here she might not want the child uh the prodigy of a rapist right and so is it her body if they can throw her in jail if she decides to have an abortion clearly it's not you can see how everything has gotten so preposterous and the reason this is the major reason why they don't want people women having abortions in the states is because the u.s government borrows money off every child's head that is born because they're going to be potential citizens if they apply they're app lying for a birth certificate and a social insurance number so this is why they don't want to see people have abortions anymore you follow me on this people so I just figured I'd share that with you. This is how deep the lies run. And meanwhile, these countries are billions and trillions of dollars in debt. And there's not even enough money to, to in circulation to cover this debt. And that thus makes everybody debt slaves, okay? The creator never asked you to be in debt, okay? And so now effectively something else, back to the, back to the original conversation, um, there's two ways. If you've ever been fingerprinted and all that stuff, I so and so, uh, I am no longer using this last name. This last name is not my property. It never was. It's fraud. If I continue to use something that is not mine, render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. And uh, so and so birth certificate number, sin number 4930698767. Uh, this is being rendered back unto Caesar. And, and that's that. And I will no longer partake in the fraud, right? And again, if you agree to partake in fraud, then it's not considered fraud. If you realize that the system is fraud and you agree not to partake, well, chances are then you're good to go. But will this paperwork ensure that these people will never touch you and kill you and try to turn your life upside down? Absolutely not, because how could a piece of paper stop that? A piece of paper cannot stop ill will coming from mankind. It simply can't. It's just, I used it as an insurance, but personally, like, my, my insurance now is uh, with the state of God. People say, well, you know, I, I'll no longer have a state. You were never supposed to be part of a state. Your state of uh, the union is with God, not a state of man right? Or the state of mind of man, right? So, so there was that way. And I just simply sent it off to the attorney general's office and uh, they, they, they got a notarized copy. They got all their ID back. I rendered unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Now, the other side, the other side of this is simply, if you've never had fingerprints taken and stuff, even though you may have had driver's licenses, yes, they may have pictures of you somewhere, but this is why they're after that facial recognition now, is they want to identify the slaves at all costs, just in case they can't. But I know so many people that be hitchhiking and stuff like that, or doing what they got to do, and the police would pull them over, throw them in jail for 24 hours. They couldn't ID them. They would uh, take their fingerprints, run them through. They still couldn't find out who they were. And the judge would say, get these people out of my court. I have no contract with these people. The judge is basically an administrator, and that's all the judge is. They're not even judges anymore. They're administrators, and they're administrating the law to the letter, right? So if you want to follow the letter of law, trust me, surely you might wind up in prison for the rest of your life, and you will die, you know? I, I, is are these the rights you want they, they they plant you know officers plant drugs on little black kids you know slavery used to be legal helping slaves escape was illegal does this sound like a good system you know back in the day offing and killing natives here in canada and the states was legal and if you tried to help the natives escape that was illegal dropping bombs on people is legal but if you tried to prevent them from dropping bombs on hiroshima or nagasaki or something that is considered illegal so are these laws that you want to follow? So these people, they make me laugh. Well, you know, you're breaking the law. The law? The, these aren't laws. These are death warrants, right? Rants for war. War rant, right? You know? So it's, you know, do you want to be a defendant? Who would an ant defend? The queen, right? Defend ant? You want to be an ant who defends? No, obviously not, right? So long story short, simply put, you know, there's two ways to do it. You can sign everything and here's your stuff back and make sure you have it notarized. You give them notarized copies. You stash your originals. You never give them your originals. That's that. 
will this ensure that you won't go missing? No. And a lot of and then the second way is simply you just take your stuff if you've never been identified and fingerprinted and you throw your stuff in the river, you bury it in the backyard and uh, you no longer use the last name and you more or less quietly drop off the face of the planet and you go do what you have to do quietly. You don't argue with these people, you don't fuss with these people because these people have guns and tanks. I'm not out to piss off Canada. As far as I'm concerned, they're fraud. I know they're fraud. They're all fraud. Everything about them is fraud. Do I care? No. And then people say, oh, well, guys like the prime minister is stealing money or the president's stealing money and they're grifting and they're grafting and this and that. Do I care? No, because I'm not the one paying their bills. They're not stealing from me. I couldn't give a rat's ass. And how could I thus prevent something if these people want to steal from you when you people facilitate it? If you people pay taxes, and that funds uh, bullets in Israel for these Israel uh, these uh, Ashkenazis to go buy bullets and kill uh, Palestinians. I will not do this. Okay, I am uh, you know I'm up to snuff on what's going on, and that's that. So there's two ways to do this. You know, the one way you sign everything, you send it off. The other way is. If you've never had a criminal record and you've never been fingerprinted, you simply bury your shit in the backyard or throw it into the river or into the ocean and be done with it and walk away. And should you have health issues, say, uh, 30 years from now, you can go dig the stuff out back out of the backyard and say, I'm I'm so-and-so and, -so and uh, I need a health card. You, you, you follow me, people? You savvy? So will this paperwork uh, assure that you won't go missing? Obviously not. How could a piece of paper assure that you will not go missing, right? It can't. You can. It's like saying, I live in Canada. Canada is just a name on a piece of paper. I reside in my body. This is where I live. Okay, you follow me, people? It's that simple. So I hope this video finds you well. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to get too deep with the stuff. And basically, like your children as well, if they don't want to be citizens, tell them to never apply. Go app lying for a birth certificate and also for a SIN card and they will never be citizens. And then people say, but they're stateless. They're not stateless. They now have the state of God. And when you have the state of God behind you, nobody wants to fuss with you because for some reason, they know that if you're not in agreement with their laws and you've done things properly, that to fuss with you would be very detrimental to them. But if you're in agreement with saying, hey, I don't mind if you send me to jail for the rest of my life, well, there, there's no onus or no anything that's going to bereave these people that will fall upon them because you were in agreement to going to jail and uh, going to your deathbed, okay, people? So I'm going to leave it at that. I hope these videos find you well. I send everybody peace and love, respect, and, uh, well, namaste. And, uh, you know, until then, keep your heads up, your sticks on the ice, and take care. And I don't care who you are, whether you're the government or whatever, don't go fighting evil. Let evil let evil kill. Uh, maybe when evil kills evil off, it's doing the creator's work without the creator even having to do it. You see where I'm going with this? So stop fighting with people. Stop with this, this bullshit that I have a government bond and I'm going to capitalize off it. Look at the terms. You're going to capitalize off it. This was never your property to begin with. So these people saying, oh, well, now this is my property. It'd be like me uh, going across the street saying, uh, that house is now mine. That's fraud, right? And why? Because I have the right to do it. That's fraud. You see this, people? Something else, you know, like I was talking with a few neighbors. And like, I, you know, if I walked up to you and said, uh, hi, uh, you know, uh, from now on, every every day of your life and every week and everything else, you're now going to give me 50% of your paycheck. You'd probably say, excuse me, wait one second. You'd go in the house, come out with a shotgun, and you'd tell me to go fuck myself. Okay, so why is it that people don't do that with the government? You don't even have to tell them to go fuck themselves. You'd be quiet and you stop giving them their money. It's that simple, right? You know, you don't like Walmart, don't shop there. And how long will they be in business? I cannot emphasize this stuff enough. I could do a million videos, but until you people are willing to learn, it's everybody's looking for a lesson and they keep getting less on, right? Uh, maybe it's time to be a moron and stop looking for all these things. Stop convoluting things because things aren't written in stone. No two snowflakes are the same. No two cloud form uh, formations are the same. 
yet everything is wiggly and squiggly, yet everything is perfect and the universe is working as it should. And when you understand this, you'll be like the Wild E. Coyote super genius. You'll be a super genius. You follow me, people? So anyhow, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm babbling. I send everybody green lights. Much peace, much love, much respect. Stop looking outside yourselves to get answers. The answers are within. And if you meditate, the answers will come to you. And you'll go, oh, the light will go on. And you'll go, oh, that's what it's all about. That's what the meaning is to that. So if you want to... Go digging in lessons, less on, and study all this law and all that stuff. It's all the slaves' language. And the letter of law is designed for slaves, for administrative court judges to use against you. That's it. And they will administrate, and they will dot their I's, cross their T's, and at the end of the day, it's all about money, 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 because mankind has made mammon their God, which is money. You know what I mean? That's why on the dollar bill it says in God we trust because people have made the money their God and it wasn't supposed to be that way. Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Okay, people? So I'm going to leave it at that. I send everybody peace, love, respect, green lights. Till then, keep your heads up, your sticks on the ice and take care. Okay, cheers. Bye. Peace. Namaste.